Good morning everyone. How are you my intelligent students? Welcome back to my channel once again. I am your science teacher Ms. Zainab Khan. I hope you all must be healthy and happy at your homes. So today before starting anything, I would like to ask few questions from you. Here you can see an image of a hospital. Many hospitals are there in our India and almost in every part of the world. But what do you mean by a hospital? What do hospitals do for us? Why do we go over there? Have you ever thought of this question? Hospital is a place where a person goes to be healed when he or she is sick, injured or suffering from any kind of disease. Any kind of diseases. Wherein doctors and nurses helps us to recover soon. So today we are going to learn all about disease and types of it. Students, before moving on, I would like to tell you something that today we are going to discuss about disease only and uh, as you can see over here, we are having two types of different disease that is communicable disease and non-communicable disease. But in my next video, I will be back with a more detailed version of communicable disease and non-communicable disease. So, this is only to make you understand very well so that you will be able to remember and you will be able to correlate easily while studying types of disease. Okay? When we are not able to perform our daily activities, then we visit a doctor immediately. Doctor examines her body and tells us about our medical condition which may lead to different diseases. And what do you mean by a disease? A disease is a condition of the body where a small or large part of the body becomes unhealthy. Or we can also say disease is an abnormal condition that affects the function of part of an organism. It's totally an abnormal condition. But if a person is suffering from any kind of disease, how can we able to recognize it? So we will be able to find out with the help of signs and symptoms. Now there is a lot of difference between signs and symptoms. Signs, a sign is the effect of a health problem observed by someone else and symptoms a symptom is an effect noticed and experienced only by the person who is ill. For example, if uh, someone is having rashes on his or her body, then it's a kind of a sign and any person can easily observe it and the person itself also can observe it. So in this case, it will be termed as signs and symptoms both. But if a child is suffering from a fever or if any person is suffering from a fever then he may have different kinds of symptoms such as weakness, warm forehead and headache etc. If we will take today's example, the thing which is going nowadays for example COVID-19 that is coronavirus. So, coronavirus also has some kind of symptoms that is fever, tiredness, dry cough, runny nose, body pain, sore throat etc. So, these are the symptoms of a coronavirus which can only be experienced by the person itself because he is feeling the particular effect inside his or her body that is known as symptoms and signs when some other person is able to observe anything that means it is giving a kind of a sign body is giving signs to someone else that human or a particular person is not healthy enough 
disease usually causes illness and illness you know period of sickness affecting body or mind most of the disease can be treated with the help of medicines for example when you visit a doctor doctor prescribes different medicines for different kind of illness for headache you will be having different medicine for muscle ache you will be having different ointment for weakness you will be having different medicines of calciums okay so each medicine may differ from disease to disease as you all know we are having different kinds of disease so some disease are caused by harmful germs and some are caused by lack of nutrients in this chapter we will study about two types of diseases that is communicable disease and non communicable disease communicable disease are also known as infectious disease they can easily spread from one person to another for example malaria typhoid tuberculosis cholera flu etc non communicable disease are also referred as non infectious disease they do not spread from one person to another for example rickets cancer diabetes scurvy etc so students i end my session here only and your homework will be that you will revise the definition of disease two ways from which we can able to recognize disease and you will search more about communicable disease and non communicable disease so that you will be able to learn more better in our next upcoming video till then stay safe stay healthy don't forget to mention your name class and section in the comment box below study smart and study hard